But what is the best way to learn a pentatonic scale? Learn it on one string. It is the best way to see the scale visually and to link the theory to the fretboard. And not only that, but it gives you absolute freedom across the entire fretboard and allows you to break free of those pentatonic boxes. More on those later. Okay, so how do we learn it? We're gonna break it into chunks. Phase one, choose a key at random. Phase two, find the root notes. The root note is that note which names the scale. Our end goal is of course to be able to do this from any note, but we're gonna start with the root. So you need to be able to find your root note E on every single string. If you can't do that, I've got something for you somewhere. Link below. Number three, find the next note. The next note above the root note is what's called the minor third, and it will always, always, always be three frets above the root note. So wherever you have a root, you go up three frets up one string, and you've got the minor third, or what we call a flat three, or B three. As you do so, you can use finger three or four, player's choice, or you can slidey slide. You could slide between the notes. Root, flat three, root, flat three. Mm, mm, mm. Number four, find the next two notes. We're gonna go up two frets, up two frets to find what we call the perfect fourth and perfect fifth. Shorten to four and five. The fourth is not found within a minor chord, so let's not dwell on it too much. If you've got the strength, bendy, bendy. Whole step bend from the fourth will bend nicely into the fifth and sound good. Number five, leap up to the last note. So that's four of the five notes. The last one is what is called the minor seventh. That is to be found three frets above the fifth. Step six, we're a whole step back to the root note. We want to end the scale where we started, but at the octave. So the same note name, but at a higher pitch. The flat seven back to the root note is two frets. So up another two frets, and we're back to our root note. Number seven, play it up and down lots. Say as you play. As you play up and down the scale, be saying the intervals, the notes that make up the scale. One, flat three, four, five, flat seven, five, flat seven, one. One, three, four, five, flat seven, five, four, three, four, three, one, seven, one, seven, five, seven, one, three, one. So with a little bit of practice, you're gonna find this becomes more instinctive as your eyes and your ears and your fingers start to memorize where these notes are and how they sound. But what happens if the root note isn't the lowest note on the string that I'm playing? It's a bit of a crazy suggestion, but you could actually learn the notes of the scales. That would be good. Or you could use the scale charts that I have for my supporters on Patreon. <laughs> Support the channel from $3 a month. I'm gonna change the root note at every practice session and spend a moment trying to play that scale on each of the six strings. A minor. So if you've done that for a while, once you come back to your box patterns, you're gonna be more confident to freely move in and out of that pattern on any string, you're gonna know where the next note above or below is to be found. Thank you.
for your time, guys. If you did enjoy that lesson, don't forget a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. If you are looking to take your guitar theory knowledge further, I have a 25% discount on my course, Guitar Up Busters Essential Theory. There is a link in the description box. Questions and suggestions for future videos can be also left in the comments. You guys have a great week. I'll see you next time.